Welcome to our groovy life once again. So tonight we're going to try three different Bloody Mary mixes. We have a lot more to try, but we're going to try to stick with just three at a time because Gabby and I don't want to have that much vodka. Yeah. As simple as that. Um, so, <laughs> three of them. We're going to try the Tabasco Extra Spicy Bloody Mary mix. As you notice, some of it's already gone. <laughs> some of us have already tried it. Um, just because it's been so long since I had had it, uh, just had to dip into it. Love the stuff, but we're gonna do it on camera. Gabby hasn't ever had it. Then the Mr. and Mrs. T's Fiery Pepper Bloody Mary mix, and I was not familiar with this one, but it's called Finest Call Extra Spicy Bloody Mary mix. So you can see the theme here. All of the Bloody Mary mixes we're gonna do are extra spicy because probably many of you have gotten to know us a little bit by now to know that. We like spicy stuff, so uh, a normal Bloody Mary is not going to work for us. Normally, we just dress this up like crazy. We would put some beefy sticks, or I might, beefy sticks, <laughs> and some pickles, and celery. Lord, I got a, a spicy Bloody Mary um, downtown in, in uh, Las Vegas, probably six, seven Everything. months ago, that even had a cheeseburger in it. Um, we're going to start with the Tabasco Extra Spicy. I've never so. had a Bloody Mary before, guys. Oh, yeah, I've so never had a Bloody Mary. This is going to be a whole new experience for me. And we don't want them over the top because we're having a bunch. Not a bunch, we're having yeah, three. That's a bunch. <coughs> I'm going to go up to the top because I have a little bit more uh, vodka to get. I don't do vodka, so this is... So you're going to have to see that. if it tastes too vodka-y. I'll put some more... Bloody Mary mix in there for It smells like tomato soup. Yes, cold, spicy tomato soup. I'm afraid I have never, I've never had one of these, so I'm really afraid of what it's gonna taste like. Smells nice and spicy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Don't have to be nervous. It's yummy. It's just a little spicy. It's not like it's ghost pepper. It's just, uh, well, in this case, with Tabasco, it's got Tabasco in it. It tastes like Tabasco, and then the aftertaste tastes like tomato soup. <laughs> Thank God I don't taste any vodka or anything like that, because, mm, mm So that's, yeah, that, it kind of covers up the vodka, right? Isn't that part of the fun of, a, of that? You can't taste the vodka. You You're just the vodka. drinking the tomato. You need a straw. That's why you have it mm -hmm. for breakfast. It's mm -hmm. tomato juice. I need a straw. You use a straw with these to mix them. I don't know that you would want a straw to slurp it. Well, I think that the ice is getting in my way. This is not terrible. No, and I don't do any. vodka. No. Whatsoever. Just... I would drink this one again. I'm not bad. Not disappointed. For Good. my first real Bloody Mary. Okay. So I think what Not spicy. we're doing right here and tasting it is absolutely a mistake. So what we're going to do, and we'll be right back with you, gang, because we're going to go ahead and get a couple more glasses, and we're going to make the other two at the same time so we can have them all three and taste them all three at the same time. Okay. So we'll be right back with you, gang. Okay, we're back. So we're ready. We're prepped. we got vodka. we got ice cups so you can see the different colors uh, of the mixes and everything so we're going to go ahead and mix these up give it a little shake can and then shake pour it in one? yeah you should be able to with this little cap thing mm -hmm. shake 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 i'm afraid okay well, i guess and then we'll pour it in there. one for me oh this one smells kind of spicy i'm going to shake the pour in all the way to there yep like that yep Because it's mostly ice. We want to stir. Just do a nice quick stir. Looks like the vodka is just at the top. You pull it back up and the ice melts a little bit. It's a hot day today. Even in the house, it's a hot day. It was like 90, like 95 outside today. It was hot. So I kind of expected right away that you'd see a little bit different color. Got my straw. Got the straw, but <laughs> I don't see a lot of different color. Mm -mm. Maybe this one's a this little one's some, darker. This the uh, extra spicy finest call one has 
pepper flakes in it. That's the only real, like, yeah. real big difference that I can see between any of them. Maybe a little darker. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I think that in, in the case of the uh, Tabasco, it's a little lighter just because it's been sitting on the ice a little bit longer. Now. Yeah. But, uh, but interesting that they're a lot more uniform colors than I would have expected. Um, but okay, so now this is what we should have done in the first place. So we know that the Tabasco is good, but... We can go back to that one. It's okay. I'm going to drink another drink of the Tabasco because, as we know, I like the Tabasco one. How did you used to get Ooh. that? I, uh, I used to drive to Minnesota... Um, in Burnsville, Minnesota, to a local little liquor store there. This goes back to 1980. Okay, I was going to say, you're going before I was born? Yeah, <laughs> this goes back to yeah. like 1983, 84, 85. Way before I was born. I used born. to drive to Minnesota, specifically to this little liquor store in Burnsville, Minnesota, because it was the closest one that I could find to the border. Um, that had extra spicy Tabasco Bloody Mary mix. And my buddies and I in college down in Iowa used to love to have that. This was back when the drinking age was 18. Um, so I used to go up there and get it, and you couldn't find it in liquor stores in any of the southern Minnesota towns. Not in Albert Lee, not in Faribault, none of those towns there. You couldn't get it. Um, so I drove up there and finally kind of developed a relationship with the man who owned the store and he used to buy it for me by the case. I had not had it for many, many, many years, even measured potentially in decades until I found it not too long ago. Um, honestly, I hadn't really been looking for it not that much, but I found it pretty easily this time. But I had to try it again, so that's why it was open this time. And uh, still remains my favorite Bloody Mary mix. However, I've never had these other two. So that's a little story for you about the extra spicy Tabasco Bloody Mary mix. Well, once it mixes, it gets a little darker. Ooh. Okay. So the Mr. and Mrs. T's first blush is much sweeter than Tabasco. Ooh. That's got more of a peppery taste. I know I have no idea what to expect of any of these. Mm, I don't That's taste pepper at all. This is very sweet to me. All really it tastes sweet. is like if you cut up a pepper. That's what I taste. It's not what kind of pepper? Oh, like a not green a pepper? Hot pepper? A bell pepper? Yeah. Well, bell yeah. Pepper. Okay, that makes sense. That's, That's very taste. sweet. Yeah. That's what I taste. I don't taste. There's no spice. No, I don't taste any spice either. It's very sweet to me. What do they call this one again? Fiery pepper. I don't like the no. taste while I'm drinking it, but the aftertaste is fine. Our it, it hits my tongue really weird. Our spicier, thicker blend with seven peppers and minced vegetables. Hmm, interesting. Now see, this is a good reason why we're having all three of them at the same time. Why well, we should have, because I probably would not have noticed that. I would have thought if we'd had them one at a time, oh, this one's a little spicier. But it's still great. Um, and it is, spice. but but it, it's very sweet compared to the Tabasco. Yeah, there's no, so far there's no spice. I should no. say there's no spice because this one's probably going to knock me on my butt, but there's but no that, spice. There's no spice whatsoever so far. And the Tabasco has just a very clean, if you're a Tabasco fan, I hate to keep going back to that because obviously I'm a Tabasco fan, but <laughs> if you keep, if you, uh, if you like Tabasco, you know you know the Tabasco taste. It has it's just a very clean taste to me, um, and this one's just sweet. So far, so no. I'm going to try Wait. the what was it called? Finest Call. This is the finest, finest call. call. Extra spicy. spicy. Okay. I'll do it for his reaction first, then I'll go for mine. I've never had these before, so I don't know. I don't taste any spice at all. Oh, I don't like that one. Oh, it's got a... <coughs> That's very tomato -y. Almost. Clamato? Almost, and I hate to say it, whoever made this, it's got a very kind of off-putting taste to it. It's, uh... I'm not sure how to describe it. It's very tomato -y. I'm getting a little bit of heartburn. I get what you get, I think. 
Or you get that heart, that heartburning stuff. Yeah, it's almost like sour tomatoes. Yeah. It almost yeah. tastes like sour tomatoes. Oh, that's not yummy. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Yeah, it's very uh, it's almost like a tomato that's sat out a little bit too long. On the counter. This one has like the most pungent smell too. So it's acid. I don't know if it's acid. That's like just the taste... first one that's actually like kind of hurt no, me. It tastes um. Tastes I don't like know a... how else to say it except it tastes like kind of an off tomato. Yeah. Um, Spoiled tomatoes. Yeah, and I know that's it's cool. within its sell by date and everything because we just bought it. Oh. No. So I yeah I don't I don't love that one at all. Mm -mm. That's uh. Love the yeah, bottle. I don't, I don't love care the, for that. I like the little spigot part, but yeah, I'm not. This where one is has this habanero one from? Pear peppers. I don't taste anything like habanero on it. Where's this from? New Albany. In, is that Indiana, right? Indiana. New Albany. Oh, that's over by Louisville, Kentucky. Hmm. Yeah, I would. They don't know what they're doing. I guess. Is from the folks in Louisville, I would expect something different, but if they're if they're stating habanero pepper, there's no taste of habanero whatsoever. To me. No, even if you're gonna habanero go habanero has sweet a sweetness part. with the with the with the back kick. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't care for that one at all. This would I, be three. Yeah, I got to keep going back to it a minute because I'm wondering what am I missing? What am I missing? Accessories. Yeah, how do you how do you eat? Because I thought I've never had a like a Bloody Mary. I've never gone to like a restaurant and ordered like, oh, I want a Bloody Mary. How do you normally eat a Bloody Mary? Do you dip your like the little food? The food in that comes there? with it, it's it's in it. It's that's in it. I know. Well, no. Well, you just eat some it. Some of it's like well, yeah, up here. No, you don't have to dip it. You wouldn't like dip the cheeseburger or anything that came with it if you're in Vegas. But but the stuff that's in there, it actually if the stuff soaking, that's in there is. Soaking more to impart flavor to the Bloody Mary rather um, than for the stuff to taste like the Bloody Mary. Like a, like a pickle? Yeah. A really, a really gotcha. good pickle? Yeah, I kind of agree with that because yeah. I think I'd want some olive. I, I would want yep. an olive and I would want a, a giant pickle. A pickle Ooh. and a giant celery is a the giant, traditional Ooh. thing. Giant pickle. Um, uh -huh. That's what we would want. A celery. And uh, you want a pickle in it? Oh, I'm going to go get a I'll pickle, get a pickle right now. Right. We should have thought better before we went into our Bloody Mary nights, but beautiful McClure spicy pickle spears. Yummy. Throw one in, so my oldest daughter who doesn't know how to eat these. I don't. I've, I've never gone out and ordered, and ordered one of these before. And this is the best way to eat pickles, is fresh out of the jar. Yes. Or drenched in that. And these are fabulous probably pickles. Should have tasted We're going to taste before, test though. these pickles okay. against a bunch of other hot pickles here in the very near future. Okay, so... I would say again, the finest call is mm -mm. not, not, not finest. The Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. T's is very. Oh my God! They just bite me. Woo! Well, we'll look for that later. Yeah. Woo! -hoo! Yeah. So said, yeah. We're Holy gonna be doing these later. Buckets. All right. Those are nice I and wasn't spicy. expecting that. <laughs> this sweet, kind of like uh, if we made it out of. I don't know, some kind of a sweet tomato. And then the Tabasco, again, um, to the Tabasco is the, word to, the way to go, if you ask me. We have many more of these that Gabby and I will be trying over the next several weeks. And we will try them against the spicy, uh, extra spicy Tabasco because it would be nice to see if somebody actually can take them down in my book. But Ooh. these are the guys, as far as I'm concerned. Wanted this to work because this is a great solid brand. Children Don't know like this that. brand, but got to be a great solid brand as well. But uh, didn't love it as much. So anyway, um, go out, try them yourself. See if you like them. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite is. Tell me if I'm wrong about the extra spicy Tabasco. And tell me if you love the first call. Um, and Because uh, Gav and I are always ready to try them again. Maybe we missed something. So with that said... Everybody, we'll see you soon with more Bloody Marys from all of us here. You soaked my pickle. Have a great night. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I soaked my pickle. Those are awesome. <laughs> Those are spicy pickles. What is that?